In these last two uh, clips, we're going to take how uh, knowledge of the atomic orbitals can, be, can lead to understanding of the properties of the elements. And it will turn out that the uh, atomic orbitals will determine what are called periodic trends. Periodic trends are uh, how big atoms, different elements are, how what the propensity of an, of an element has to keep its electrons or lose its electrons. And uh, there's a bunch of different functions that we're going to uh, learn about as we make this bridge. And in this clip, I'm going to tell you about the R function, the radial function, and the y function, the angular function. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand draw so I can give you the rough idea of the concepts, and then we'll see uh, more of the finished drawings. So uh, I'll do that right here. Just First, we're going to just look at one orbital as an example. We're going to look at the uh, 3PY orbital. And as you can see, the 3PY orbital has two big mushrooms on top uh, and on bottom, and then two little lobes in the center. And we're, I'm just going to redraw that right here. So I'll do that right here. Uh, there's the big lobe on top, which I'm going to make, uh, in this case, uh, negative. There's the little lobe that's positive. And the little lobe that's negative, and then the big lobe that's positive again. So uh, what I'm drawing here then is just a redrawing of that picture on the left. Okay, so let me cover that up. And now what we're going to do is consider how this function, this is the atomic orbital. This is the 3PY atomic orbital. And we're going to consider how it changes its value as we travel, compare points along this line. I think I'll use blue along this line here. And we're going to compare a bunch of different points. We'll compare this point here is at the nucleus in red. And then the center of this will be in purple. Between the two lows will be in black. And then up here will be an aqua in the center of this thing. So, in what is the value of, this is little r, and I'm going to draw a function. And I'm going to consider little r equals zero. Little r equals zero. Does that correspond to red, purple, black, or aqua? Put it in chat. Little r equals zero. Well, little r equals zero means the distance from the electron to the nucleus is zero. So the electron's at the nucleus. And what's the value of the function of the atomic orbital at the nucleus? Is that a node? Put it in chat. What's the value at the nucleus according to the picture? Here, maybe uh, uh, seeing a better picture will, be, will help you over here. So, it starts off at zero. Then, when I reach the purple point, when I reach the purple point, what happens to the value of capital R? Does it turn, remember purple is positive. So it turns positive, and there it is. As I go further, when I reach the black point, between the two lobes, what is the value of R? Put it in chat. It's between the two. It's between plus and minus. That means its value is, put it in chat, zero, which means it's back to zero. And finally, I'm in the aqua region. In the aqua region, is it positive or negative? Put it in chat. Aqua region is positive or negative? And the answer is negative. So I put it here as negative. And when I connect these points, I get this graph. 
and that is the R graph. And I show you the real R graph right here. You can see they look just alike. Okay, that's the R function. And now we're going to consider another graph. And uh, I think I should bring this up here then, and I will move it here. And uh, what we're going to consider is the uh, same orbital. Uh, I'm putting the uh, aqua region here. Oops. And that's, uh, we're going to change though, uh, we're going to do the oscillation, we'll do it differently. So we're going to make the aqua region, you know, uh, positive in this time. Doesn't matter, you know, waves go back and forth. This will be negative. This will be positive. And this will be negative. And now what we're going to consider is instead of traveling in the direction I showed before, we're going to consider how the values of the function change as I go in a circle, shown in blue. So uh, I can show you that as, as a graph here. Uh, as I go in a circle, shown in those red dots, how do the values change? And we're going to consider a, a bunch of different points. I'll consider this aqua point here. And then I'll consider this uh, red point over here. And I'll consider this purple point down here. And I'll consider this black point over here. And notice that the black and red points lie on the plane bisecting the nodal plane of the orbital. So, in which of these four directions is the function positive? In which direction? Aqua, red, black, or purple? In which is a positive? Aqua is positive, and there it is. It's positive and big. Oops. Aqua is positive and big. And where is it going to be negative? Purple, red, black. In the purple, it's negative, and I'll draw that here like this with a minus sign. It's negative there. And I need to show what I'm drawing, so I put it right here. So it's positive on the top, negative on the bottom. And as I move, I'll make another color. Uh, what color can I make? I can make green. Here's a green, and then here's a light green. Can you see the different colors? As I move from aqua to red, what happens to the value of the function? Put in chat, what happens to the value of the function? It gets smaller. So there's green. It's getting smaller here. It's getting closer to the origin. And finally, when I get to red, that's the bisecting node. It's here. And similarly, I can go over to this side. Here's green. Here's light green. And here's black. And so what I get on this side is green, light green, and black. And when I connect all these points together, I get a circle. And by exactly the same logic, when I go in the other direction, I get also the same kind of shape, but it's negative, and we tend to draw negatives with stripes in the middle. And this is called the Y function. And here is pictures of that Y function. So, shown right over here.